Welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. A Barcelona news roundup coming up for you today and we have plenty of big, big topics coming up because what I'll say is, welcome to the clown show. It's Barcelona with Bartomeu at the helm and believe me, these topics that we're going to discuss, it's ridiculous. It is genuinely, genuinely staggering. What is going on upstairs? What is going on in their minds? Is there anything in there? Let's do this. Because let's start first and foremost with the front page here of Mundo Deportivo. The headline reads there, green light for Juve. And basically, once again, it's all about there. The potential exit of Arthur Mello from Barcelona and Juventus still maintain that very, very serious interest in the young Brazilian. And it basically seems right now, listening to the reports that are coming out of both Spain and also Italy right now, it seems that Barcelona are desperate to offload Arthur. Where are Treating Arthur right now as one of those players who we need to get rid of. Almost like dead wood. I haven't seen this from Barcelona in a long, long time. We haven't seen it with players who needed to go, yet for some reason, we're like it with Arthur. I honestly don't understand it. And according to reports right now, Barcelona are looking into every option possible with Juventus, whether it's money, whether it's there a transfer fee, or whether it's part of a player exchange. And one of the many names that's actually been linked right now as part of that deal is Bernadette of Juventus. I mean, really? Are we going down this road? Are we genuinely here going to sacrifice a young, talented, exciting Barcelona-type midfielder for what? For what? I don't get it. Again, like I said previously, guys, when it comes to Arthur, his stance is exactly the same. He doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to be pushed out. Of course, when you're a player and this is happening around you, I'm sure that's going to affect his confidence. But right now, apparently, according to Kobe, he's still working hard. He's still working individually. He's working there on improving his physical state. And all that he's thinking about right now is succeeding at Barcelona. And don't worry. Do not deviate away from that, Arthur. We want you to stay. You have a future at this club. Like I said before, you will be here long after Bartomeu is gone. So please don't leave. Do not accept the move away under any circumstances whatsoever. Your future is here. We believe in you. Forget about the rest. And then we move on to Jean-Claire Toribo. And believe me, things don't even get better. Potentially, you could say they even get worse as we go on in this video. Believe me, guys, there is so much here that we have to talk about, but it honestly pains me. We talk here about Todibo, the man who was loaned out to Schalke in the January transfer window at the time with a ridiculous 25 million option to buy. And we all thought it's so, so great that Schalke can't afford that now. Schalke cannot make that deal permanent. And that means we all thought that Todibo would be coming back to Barcelona. And just a few days ago, I was saying in a video, Please don't make the same mistake twice. Please don't put us through that again. You've gotten away with that one. Let's keep hold of him now. But according to Sport, a massive report here. They claim that Barcelona right now are deep in negotiations with Everton. Not over the loan of Todibo, but for the sale. For 20 million euros. Todibo will leave, according to Sport, to go to the Premier League for 20 million euros. What on earth? And just get a load of this, because according to that report there from Sport, Barcelona originally from Everton were demanding 25 million euros, but apparently Everton couldn't afford that. So Barcelona said, you know what? OK, fine, let's do it for 20. And also Everton don't want a buyback clause included in the deal. And apparently Barcelona might agree to that as well. What are we doing? Who is negotiating? Who is getting paid there to actually negotiate these kind of deals? It's honestly ridiculous. And yeah, OK, we don't know if this is true. But the problem is, with this Barcelona board, would it surprise you? Would it genuinely surprise you to see a deal like this done? Because for me, no, it wouldn't. I can imagine them sanctioning this and not only doing that, but also being happy with it. I can imagine they're the Barcelona board thinking, you know what? We got 20 million for this guy. We're doing Doing so well. No, you're not. Because MD also there talk about Tadebo's future today, and although they don't completely go with that Everton link, they do say 
that Barcelona this summer would indeed be open to selling to Debo for that 25 million euros. And I just don't get it. You look at the centre of our defence. There's nobody there who's getting any younger. There's nobody there who you would think, well, OK, to Debo, we can afford to lose him. We can't. That's an area in our team that we need to strengthen. I honestly do not understand it. The one positive, though, the one thing that I would say with regard to Debo's future is the fact that we said for many, many other players too, Arthur included, is the fact that we've said he has a contract until 2023. Tadebo still has the power. If he doesn't want to leave, if he doesn't want to be shipped off to the Premier League, he doesn't have to be. Say no, please. We are all behind you. Just like with Arthur, say no. Whatever it takes, they will be gone in one year. In 2021, I hope we never have to hear the name of Jose Maria Bartomeu ever again, and then we can move forward. Say no, do not leave, even if you have to sit on the bench for an entire season, just do that. Because we don't want to lose you, and you shouldn't have to go. You don't have to give up your Barca career. And then we move on to the goalkeeping side of things, because last night a reliable Dutch source there, Telegraph, came out and basically claimed that Barcelona have indeed contacted Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana with a view to a move for him this coming summer, with Telegraph there basically saying that Barcelona are willing to offer Neto, Ricky Puch, Alex Collado or Carlos Alenia all as part of that deal, and whether or not those are loans, whether they're permanent deals there, it remains to be seen. But Barcelona do have an interest clearly in signing Onana, as we've heard now rumours about over the past few weeks, and that source in Holland there, very, very reliable. Ajax, however, on their front, they want to keep Andre Onana. They're trying to convince him right now to stay at the club for one more season, and they're desperately trying to keep hold of their man. But Onana, the player himself, he is very, very clear about his future. He wants to leave Ajax this season. Season, he feels like the time is right, and it's believed there that he would be open to a return to Barcelona, even if it's in a backup role. And this is what I don't really understand about this. I don't really understand why Onana would want to come to Barcelona. Of course, he would love to play here. Of course, he'd love to be the goalkeeper of the club that he used to be part of. He was there in La Masia. He left there at a young age. He would love to come back and stand between the sticks at the camp now. But... He's 24 years old. He's coming off the back here of some wonderful seasons with Ajax. He's got big offers from the Premier League. The likes of Chelsea are apparently reportedly interested in there. And yet he'd be willing there to effectively come and sit on the bench, basically play there the netto role. And we've hardly seen him this season. Is he really going to sacrifice all of his career to do that. Because you look at it right now, Ter Stegen is our number one. That is going to stay that way. It's not going to be changing anytime soon. Ter Stegen is 27 years old. He's still got many, many years left, providing that we keep hold of him in his Barcelona career. And with Onana, just 24, there's not that much of a gap between them. Is he really going to have the career that he wants at Barcelona? I'm not so sure it will be the right step for him. One thing that potentially this could be actually sent out to do is just to send a message there, send a signal and put some pressure on Ter Stegen himself. Because like I say, contract negotiations now between Barcelona and Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, they've been going on for some time, they've been trying to agree their improved terms to Ter Stegen. You remember, of course, when we did our wage video that Ter Stegen was massively, massively underpaid with regard to the rest of the squad. He is one of our most influential players and yet he's nowhere near the top of our wage bill. And I think certainly Ter Stegen will expect a better deal. His current contract expires in 2022. But as of right now, there's nothing agreed. And apparently, according to reports that came out yesterday, those contract talks are at a standstill. No progress is being made. And potentially here, this could be the club saying, look, we can go out there, we can get Onana, we can bring him in, we can replace you. But we all know that is not true. Ter Stegen staying at the camp now, staying here at Barcelona, it must be a priority. Get that done. And just finally, guys, I want to talk here about all of these random, weird, very, very unexplainable sales that potentially may be happening behind the scenes at Barcelona, whereby, like I say, we're ultimately trying to force out players like Arthur Mello and Todibo, and it doesn't seem to make any sense. And widespread reports in Spain seem to believe that Barcelona are pretty much open to offers for every single first-team player, with the exception of Lionel Messi, Marc Enrico Stegen, and Frank de Jong. And reports basically say this is all part of Bartomeu's so-called master plan to secure the signatures of Lotaro Martinez and Neymar Jr. this summer, which that in itself 
It is ridiculous. If that is the case, and we're trying to sell players here to gather some funds to sign these Galactico-type signings, it makes no sense. Why would you destroy there? the future core of your team to sign two forward players. It makes no sense. But then again, that doesn't surprise me either. Bartomeu has just one year left in office. He doesn't care about the future. He never has done at Barcelona. So right now, maybe he does just want to tear this team apart, bring in some massive names, Neymar, Lataro, score some goals, and everything will be fine. I will be remembered very, very fondly. And that's all he cares about. He doesn't care here about the future of the club. But let me just tell you this. I'm not even sure this is all about Lotaro. This is all about Neymar. I'm not even sure that's the reason right now as to why we're trying to desperately sell some players. Because I would actually raise the point right now. I think here, look at the Galactico signing. Look at the big, big money that we've spent in previous years. Look at the massive wage bill that we have. Even right now, with the players taking a wage cut, we're still in a big, big financial problem. And I would actually take a step back right now and say, hang on. Is the club in trouble? Is Bartomeu right now looking around thinking, this is not good. We've had an enforced break from football. We didn't expect this to happen. Suddenly now, we are in real trouble. We don't have the gate receipts. We don't have here the big TV money coming in. We were counting on that money to pay all of these wages, all of this stuff going on. And suddenly, we can't do it. I would actually question right now, not that it's actually to sign Lotaro, to sign Neymar, but potentially, is it just to keep the club afloat? Are we in that much of financial difficulty because of their idiotic planning? I wouldn't rule that out. Certainly for me, Barcelona right now, it has been the case for quite some time. It's in such poor hands. So please leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys, on everything we have discussed in today's video from Arthur Mello to Jean-Claire Toribo to the situation there with Andre Onana and Mark andre Ter Stegen. And finally there, what do you think the plan is, if there even is one, behind the scenes right now with what the club are trying to do? Do you believe there could be some financial trouble there? Let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below. Not really the news once again that I'd like to bring you guys, but that's why earlier on I did that Barcelona quiz. Just something a bit different, just a bit of fun there. And it was very, very interesting indeed to read many of your comments and the ones that you got stuck on. I certainly think about doing that again. Thanks as always guys for your support. I will see you soon. Plenty more to come still. They can't keep us down. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.